$20 and $40 taking through the same cycle. I decided to do them both simultaneously because they're both probably rather uninteresting for the most part. So we start with the 1950 here, the 1950A, early 50s, Priest and Humphrey, where we left off in the previous, and the $50 Priest and Humphrey. And uh, not much happens. There's no In God We Trust, but it is the White House on the back. So that's that change. And there's the Capitol building there, as it always had been. There. So the next letter doesn't do much. It's just an advance of the letter to B. And this is also B, 1950B and Anderson to replace Humphreys. And then 1950C, uh, Elizabeth Rudell Smith and Doug Dillon replaces the other two. And it's always 50C. Now, there's a slight distinction between the 20 and the 50 that when we get down to the point of Catherine O'Hay Granahan, the uh, $20 exists both as the 1950D and as the newly introduced 1963. The $50, however, there is no 1963 series introduced yet, so there's only the 50D by its lonesome. So in this case, once again, because you got a 63, you got the change of the verbiage. This note legal tender, redeemable and lawful money, blah blah. It's just this note is legal tender. You have all this, uh, uh, you know, it's kind of you know, the United States of America will pay to the bearer on demand, which just goes to the United States of America, twenty dollars. And here, of course, nothing changes. You just got the old one with the lawful money, and uh, we'll pay to the bearer. Um, you know, the old treasury seal. And these are all have the old treasury seal. Now, let's see. How do they expand this? Well, let's see. They had to. Have. Ah, yes. You can tell they expand. See, you can see two full fingers and almost the beginnings of a third. And here, you have one finger and just barely the beginnings of another. So, we lose a little bit at the bottom. Yeah, that's what we do. In order to fit the same person in the same um, oval so that's how they handled its expansion here of course it's only the older design so nothing has changed and uh, likewise we have here now this is where something changes in the original there's just the White House and this one we have in God we trust in the White House here there's no change so, next stage, now we get a little more consistent. We uh, update to the last letter for these series. 50E for the Federal Reserve, the old one with the, all the extra verbiage and the smaller picture that shows more of him. 63A for Henry Fowler. Well, this all has Henry Fowler. You know, it's the bigger one. And all of that verbiage has been simplified. Now at last, the $50 gets a similar change as well. So 50E still has all the same old thing, only it's Granahan and Fowler. The other one, however, starts straight at 63A. There is no 63 without an A for this denomination. A bit odd, but <laughs> that's how they did it. So it's in sync with all the others. Everybody is on 63A, whether they're a United States note, a Federal Reserve note, and whatever the denomination, and whether or not there was a 63 without an A with Granahan and Fowler. So what did they do to change the $50? Well, in this case, they actually shrunk the bit at the bottom by eliminating that will pay to the bear on demand. They actually made that shorter, giving a little bit more room for his oval to continue showing basically the same thing it already showed. So that's how they did it. But you can see it is bigger once again, just a little bit, but it's bigger. So that's how they transitioned. So the next one over is the series 1969. And the only change there is the new treasury seal. Well, a new signature, of course. And that one there, same new signature, same new treasury seal. Same bat time, same bat channel. And 
in both cases, we have all these denominations, we have all these uh, letters. We have A, we have B, we have C, and also the $50 has an A, has a B, and has a C. So, but no, no other changes. Oh, and on the back, the 1963A, unlike the 1950E, introduces In God We Trust. So, and all these others later on have In God We Trust on the back everywhere. So, so like for example, take this $20. There's In God We Trust at the top, like we saw. Or this $50, you can see there's In God We Trust. So that's how they did the $50. Finally, we get to series 1974. Neff and Simon, we won't see any fancy letters other than the occasional A for both these denominations. And so, but that was all there was, and so they're both, I don't know, a bit less interesting than the others, I think.